Hey, welcome to the car cast. Let's talk about bite-sized pieces of content today. Let's drive. Get down. Get down. Get down. I want to keep it quick because there's something actionable here and I want you to get busy of taking this action. I'm going to give you one specific recommendation at the end on how you can take immediate action. One of the first things I do when I'm working with someone, whether it is the multi-billion dollar global conglomerate, whatever it is they do, or the one-man band or one-woman band, single solo entrepreneur, the very first thing we do is we take a look at their content out of the box. What is it that they are communicating? How is it categorized? Most importantly, and you would think, you know, is it generating a lead opportunity for me? Well, sure, that's important. I don't want to mitigate that ever. But most importantly, is it naturally allowing me to push people into my sales process? Okay. What I find, and I always find this, always, I always find the 10 to 15 page manifesto, if you will, white paper, some kind of detailed, deep dive into the product or the service, a lot of nuance, a lot of education, all packed in within one document. These documents are very, very good. They're very rich, okay? What they are not is easily consumed. In other words, that document typically is used as a mid-stage uh, marketing piece or early-stage sales piece. In other words, if I have that piece in your hands, then I know the hunt is almost on. By the way, go back and look at my hunter's uh, discussion, right? Because if you're a marketer for a larger firm, even a small firm, you have to care about the hunt. But go back and look at that one, all right? But we assume if we hand that piece over, the hunt then becomes on. But here's the sad truth about those pieces. that They're so unwieldy and long, it's a lot to ask of your prospect. Will your prospect consume it? Maybe. I think the percentages are probably low. So here's the first thing we do after we evaluate the category, what the message is and how we're communicating. We start to take that piece, the one that's the most informative, the most educational, the most specific, the most recommend, the most, the one packed with most prescription and recommendation, and we start to chunk that up into little pieces in the natural way that the sales team connects, engages, nurtures their prospects, and indeed does some early stage prospecting. Now, instead of one single shot at bat with this gigantic monolithic piece, we could, let's say if it's 15 pages, right? We could literally chunk that up into at least, at least one piece per page. That's the typical average, right? Great example of this I saw the other day. I um, pay attention to some ads that come across just to see how they, they execute on Facebook and Film Editing Pro, I'll try to put them up here somewhere. Film Editing Pro, uh, they have like this online course for film editing and they did something great. They had a three part series of how you edit a movie trailer. Each video was about four minutes in length. It was informative, it was actionable. You gained a lot of value just from those pieces. And at the end, they said, hey, there's this course that we have. You could sign up to get more detail and all, you know, get more in depth with this. And they also had a bunch of resources. If you buy the course, you also have sound effects and, you know, um, non-licensed music you could use for your, your video. See, that's a perfect example. And what they could have done is had that one video, three and 12 minute bites, right? Uh, I'm sorry, the four, three, it could have been one big, long video. Okay, but they chunked it up in very discreet pieces. They fed it to me piecemeal or the people that were on their mailing list. And then the, at the end was the sales opportunity. So they immediately got someone engaged. Now, look, that's a little bit more transactional in nature, but the same thing applies no matter what you're selling. It doesn't matter what you're selling. Here to tell you no matter what you are selling. So go and look. Here's the action that you need to take now. The biggest, most informative, packed with information piece that you've produced ever. I don't care if it's video, audio, written, presentation, whatever it is. Go look at that and dissect it to see what, what value it's communicating in each segment of that piece. Take that value and now repurpose it into smaller bite-sized pieces. But most of all, start with email. People still email, believe it or not, and it's a great way to communicate and prospect. So start there and tell your prospect why they ought to care about it, what the value is in a very short, brief sentence, and send them on their way. So take those big, giant pieces and break them down into small, consumable, snackable, if you will, pieces of content. I hope that helps you. I'll see you next time. 
snackable pieces of content. I think I just invented that. Nah, maybe not. But I liked it. You know what I would like? I would like for you to come on over to YouTube and subscribe. Would love to have you there every time we ride. See you next time.